guys welcome back I know it's been a while but we are back in business so I already have my face done and everything so we're just gonna go ahead and go in with our Manny MUA makeup geek palette so right here I am using frappe and Zara and I am placing that on my transition So go ahead and blend that and kind of go a little high with this color so that the next color could be right below it and it'll just be a nice transition from the dark to the light. And then I'm going to go in with the color Aphrodite and I am placing that on the crease. Now this color is what pulls a whole look together because it brings all those um, purple colors from the next color that we're going to go in with the lid. It pulls all those colors together and it just makes everything look put together. So I'm going to go ahead and place this on my crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with Insomnia. This color, it is so unique, it's so beautiful. It has blues and reds and purples and grays. It's such a beautiful color and it is so creamy. So you do wanna go in with a flat synthetic brush for this eyeshadow because it's just so like buttery. I love it. Makeup Geek does such a great job with their creamy foiled shadows. It's just so beautiful. So go ahead and dab that on your lid. And then here I wanted to go ahead and darken my crease color. Like I said, this color is what pulls all those purples from the lid out. So I'm just gonna go in and put some more of that purple color. It is a night look after all, so let's get dark with it. It's such a pretty color too, I love it. And then I'm gonna go back with Zara and Frappe and I'm gonna place a little bit more above that crease color. And then place a little bit more of that Insomnia. And then go ahead and dust off any fallout that you might have gotten. And then of course going in with my Fit Me Concealer, I am going to conceal and highlight my under eyes, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin, and my smile lines as well. So go ahead and I'm gonna use a dry beauty blender to blend these out because girl, you know I don't need any extra moisture on my face, especially under my eye, under eye because I do crease very easily. So yeah, I'm trying to keep that very dry. And of course, we're gonna go with our L'Oreal Infallible Matte Setting Powder. And I'm going to set all those places where I did place all my concealer in my highlight. Then after that, I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Naked Skin Urban Decay Ultra Definition Loose Finishing Powder. I've had this powder for a while and I completely forgot about it. But you know what? It's back in business. So I'm just setting it and it'll make your face look so flawless. I love this stuff. I can't believe I forgot about it. And then I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D contour palette and I'm going to use all three shades to contour my face. Then going in with my Inglot number 77, I couldn't get a close shot of me doing it because I was just so close to the mirror. But yeah, so let's just skip that part. And I'm going to tight line my top and bottom lash line with a pencil that I got from my Ipsy bag. So go ahead and apply that girl. Darken those eyes up. And then I'm gonna place my iconic house of lashes and this damn blue takes forever to get tacky so in the meantime i am going to apply my blue lush so i'm taking this inglot i don't remember what number it is but i love this blush if you guys haven't tried inglot you guys need to try that brand some macy's have it some don't but you guys can definitely order their stuff online 
So back with our lashes here, you just want to make sure that you do attach the lash to the center of your eye. So you just want to get that part on first and then use your fingers to kind of adjust the corners of the lash to stick to the, your lid. So here I'm just making sure that the glue does attach to the entire lid and it doesn't just attach to the center of the eye. So here I'm just using my tweezers and making sure that they are against the lid and then bring them down, pull them down, whatever you need to do to adjust your, your lashes. Use your fingers, use your tweezers, whatever you gotta do, just don't poke your eye out. And here I'm just making sure that it's really on my lid. I find it easier when there are thicker lashes for some reason than when they're like flimsy. So that is how you place them, guys. Not too bad, right? And then of course you're gonna go in with a mascara just to blend your, your falsies with your real ones and make sure you only place mascara on your real, real lashes so that your falsies can last a little longer and then going in with our color mars from the same palette i'm going to place that on the bottom lash line and i'm going to blend it down a little bit so that the other color that we're going to place above that color is a little bit more closer to the lash line so here i'm just blending it down Going in with this color Aphrodite, once again, we are going to place this color closer to the lash line. So don't bring it as low as the Mars color, just bring it closer to the lash line. And I wanted to add a little bit more brightness to my inner part of my eye. So I am taking Luna and I'm taking it on a very pointy, flat, synthetic brush. Well, not very pointy, but it's flat. And I'm placing that in the inner corner, lower lash line. I just thought it looked like really nice mixed with those two colors together. And don't forget to add mascara on those bottom lashes, girl. And of course, no look is complete without me using my Becca Champagne Pop. I thank Jaclyn Hill every day I do my makeup because this is the bomb. This highlighter is the bomb for my skin tone. I've always had a hard time looking for a good one for my skin tone and this one just rocked my world. So go ahead and highlight all your face. Look like Mr. Tin Man, why the hell not? Why the hell not? Do it girl. <laughs> And then of course I wanted to add a little bit of umph to my eye, so I'm going in with the uh, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitters. If you guys are looking for glitter, like anything glittery, this is the glitter to go to because it makes zero mess, it lasts all night long, all day long, and on top of any eyeshadow, it is just the best glitter I have ever used. And then of course I'm going in with my NYX lip pencil and I'm going to lip line my entire lips. And I'm using the, let's see, I think it's Hypno Liquid Lipstick by Ofra and it's also a collab with Manny MUA. This whole tutorial is about him, so hell yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.